Hey guys, it's me, Marty, and welcome to another day. It is day five, and I know I'm a little behind. This is gonna go, but like, I got this. We're, we're, I have, I've had a few rough few days. Um, but yeah, today's video is gonna be a little bit different. Um, the topic is something I really don't have anything to say about or talk about, so I was like, you know what, I'm gonna wing it, because I have to eventually. Anyway, once this month is up, I'm gonna be done like just having a list of ideas. I'm gonna have to start coming with my own, so why not start that now? Anyway, today I'm going to talk about um, myself, kind of. Um, for those of you who follow me on social media, are friends with me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter, pretty much those two things, I'm sure a lot of you have noticed that the past few months haven't been the best for me, mental health-wise, emotionally, and that I've been very, very down and depressed and not very positive with things. Um, but then I'm sure you've also seen the past few weeks that that has completely done a turnaround and I figured why not talk about some of the ways that I have been working to change myself and my outlook and improve my mood and positivity in general. So let's just get right into it. Hey guys, this video and all my videos actually are currently sponsored by me. Um, you can go ahead and get some of my merch down at the merch store. We have a link in the description bar below or it's going to be probably right across the screen. Right now, if you order between now and April 10th and use the code 15 for you, you will get 15% off everything, your entire purchase. So you don't want to miss out on that. Now's the perfect time to get something. I mean, 15% off, I think is actually a pretty good discount. So yeah, check that out. Support your favorite channel and get some cool gear. There's a lot of cool stuff there from t-shirts to tank tops to cups to mugs to backpacks to sweatshirts almost anything you could think of even phone cases mouse pads baby clothes all that fun stuff and more so check that out and support the channel thanks now back to the rest of the video so one of the main things that I have been doing is anytime that I get really really anxious or get thoughts in my head that just start bothering me like I have a very 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 hard time dealing with anxious thoughts random things that don't even make sense why I think them pop into my head and like make me worried and freaked out. And normally what I used to do is I would just not deal with it. I would just sit and just focus on it and think about it and basically convince myself that whatever I was thinking, like for a while, like I would think that all my friends are gonna leave me or that um, just, just random stupid stuff like that. When in reality, there's, there's really no reason for me to think that. And so what I would do, it have, or what I have been doing, is anytime I get those thoughts, instead of sitting in my room and just thinking about that and dwelling on it, I instead have been going on a walk. I will go, I'll put my headphones in, turn the music up pretty much all the way, put on good, happy music. I, that's another thing I've been doing, trying to, we'll get, well, we'll get into that. Um, and just walking. I walk two miles. I have a the app on my phone, the S Health, if you have a Galaxy phone, it's probably built right in your phone. You could t put in exactly how much you want to walk. And I found a path that is exactly two miles from my house to the local grocery store across town, back to my house, it is exactly two miles. And I do that. And I, it's amazing how after, I mean, it only takes about half an hour, but it's amazing how and half an hour walking, doing something physical, keeping yourself busy, Pretty much as soon as you get home, those thoughts really aren't there anymore because typically they're just, they're, they're just, I don't remember what the word is, just random thoughts. They're just, they're not founded. They're just your mind messing with you. And once you get them out of your head, it stops bothering you. I mean, some days I end up going on a lot of walks. Like one day I walked like six miles because I'd come home, I'd be fine for a little bit. And then something would trigger or upset me. Like I do that a lot whenever I'm feeling dysphoric, I'll go on a walk and that'll help just clear my head and make me stop focusing on things. And I figured on top of that, I've been trying to lose weight and that that helps with that so not only am I helping with my anxiety I'm helping myself lose weight and get healthier because I've stopped drinking soda for the most part been trying to stop drinking monster but that's really really hard and have been just trying to drink a lot of water and not really snacking on foods or uh, eating fast food the only things that I've been snacking on is the Chipotle Ranch uh, uh, but flaming hot Cheetos because those are so good. If you never had them, you should try them, but beware, they are spicy as hell. Um, but yeah, another thing that I've been doing is watching what I listen to music wise. I don't know if it's a person thing or if it's like normal for most people or if it's just how I am, but music heavily, heavily, heavily affects my moods. So if I'm listening to sad, depressing emo music, it eventually like gets me sad and depressed. If I'm 
but and so I've been trying to listen to music that the words are uplifting or just happier, more positive. The, the music itself is like faster, more happier music. And that has been something that has really, 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 really helped change my mindset. Like now I can listen to some of that music and it doesn't really drag me down. But at one point in time, like I had a playlist that was just all emo music and that was all I would listen to. And then one day we were driving and my Sam changed the playlist and I was actually really glad that she did because I'm somebody who once I'm listening to a playlist, if I like it, I ain't changing it. I'm enjoying all the music on there, but it made me just hit shuffle on everything and I started listening to other music outside of my emo depressing stuff and it has definitely helped improve my mood. And I think on top of that, just eating better and being more active and all that I think has helped. And then the last thing is obviously just talking. Um, I've been learning slowly but surely how to open up and talk more and be more expressive about how I feel about things to my friends and instead of holding it all in and convincing myself I have to deal with this myself. I can't burden anybody else with it when I have people that are there for me. I have people that want to help and support me. I just wouldn't let them do it. And then I'd be like, well, why isn't anybody helping me? When in reality, I just wasn't asking for help and I wasn't accepting any help that was being given. So learning how to be able to say, I need help, you know, was also, it was very, very, very hard for me because I was always that friend who everybody came to with their problems. I was that friend who was the happy, positive one. So I've convinced myself that I wasn't allowed to feel those things or at least show them to my friends. And I'm really glad that I'm finally, finally getting out of that and finally learning how to open up, like maybe not as much to like people that I don't really know, but at least to like my best friend. Like I've, I've been opening up a whole lot more to Sam and it's been making me feel so much better, which is amazing. But yeah, that is how I've been handling my anxiety and just improving my how to be positive basically. And I figured I'd share those tips with you guys. Maybe they'd be helpful. Maybe it's something you guys deal with. And then also I figured I'd leave you guys with a question. How do you guys handle your, you know, anxiety, depression, anything? Like how do you guys, uh, is there anything that I've that, that you do that you might think might be helpful for me and if any of these are helpful for you let me know down below in the comment section because I would love to know I think this is it, it's good to share this you know information and my experience because who knows who would help and I mean just talking about it in general helps me too so yeah anyway I guess that is all for now I'd like to thank you guys for watching if you enjoyed this video go ahead and give it a big thumbs up if you are new to the channel hit subscribe and if you're not new be sure to hit that bell icon so you get notified every time I upload a video I'm trying to do it every single day but as you guys know, sometimes that's not gonna happen, but I will do my best to at least make sure there will be 30 videos this month. They might not all come out when they're supposed to, but there will be 30 videos this month. Hopefully, after this video goes up, there will be another video immediately after for day six, which is today, April 6th. And as long as I don't have internet problems, it should be up, but my internet goes slow and sometimes it takes me like 16 hours to upload a two minute video, so. It depends. That's why I was trying to get ahead of the game earlier, but now I'm behind, so we'll see how the rest of this month goes. Anyway, that's all for now. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!